So we have a ball thrown straight up from the surface of the earth. We'll start drawing right there. Surface of the earth. A ball is thrown upward. With some velocity, it gets to the top, and then it comes back down. So what we know is that whatever this velocity is, it decreases on the way up. The velocity is zero at the top, and then it increases in magnitude on the way down, such that if it started out as 20 degrees, 20 meters per second, it would decrease by 10 meters per second to 10, then to zero, then minus 10, then minus 20. If we were to make a graph of that, velocity, time, and this being zero, the graph would look like this. Where this is where the velocity is zero, and this is the time on the way up, and this is the time on the way down. If we do a RGA analysis of this, we can read velocity and time. The gradient's delta V over delta T, which is the acceleration, and the area is V times T, which is meters per second times seconds, or meters. That is delta X, the displacement. Or in this case, since it's up and down, it would be delta Z. So now, this is the work we did to start off before we even read the question. Which statement describes its velocity? So let's first of all, let's say its velocity. Its velocity decreases to zero and then increases to a negative. So both the velocity is zero. No. Oh, uh, velocity at the top of its flight. Well, at the top of its flight, yes, the velocity is zero. So velocity is zero. That's possible. Velocity is zero possible. Velocity is not zero, and velocity is not zero. So we're down to 50-50 right away just by breaking this apart and seeing that the velocity um, is zero at the top. And what about the acceleration? Well, the acceleration, we said, is the slope. And the slope of this thing is a straight line. Every second, it decreases by 10. So the slope is also constant, but it's definitely not zero. The acceleration is minus 10 the entire time. And we can see that in the graph. The slope is a constant minus 10. The velocity is zero and the acceleration is zero. No, it's not. Velocity and the acceleration is non-zero. So that's why our answer is choice two.